place all by herself. So we decided to take a trip in June to try and cheer her up and bring some joy in her life. So this painting right here is when we first arrived in Florida and we took her out for dinner and this was again the first night and we decided to go to Kelwin's who has ice cream and chocolate and all kinds of really good goodies and it was a fun place to take her for the first night that we were there. Hey, welcome to the gallery. Here's where all my paintings are for the masked waitstaff in praise of service art show. So you may be wondering, why did I do this? Why did I decide to paint all these people? Well, once we had actually come to Florida and started going to restaurants, I realized that these wait staff are putting themselves on the line. They're dealing with people who are not used to having to deal with COVID. A lot of them are angry about COVID, not wearing their masks. And these, the poor wait staff people have to service these people and, you know, people don't want to wear their mask and they're spreading their germs, so they have to be really careful. Plus, they're sanitizing. Their work is a lot harder than it used to be. So I really felt that I needed to make a statement to honor these people. So I hope you appreciate this, and I will do a little talk about each of these individuals, and thank you for coming. Hi again. So I'm going to say hello to Tony. Tony is one of the three wait staff that I painted who was at the Jimmy Gowanus restaurant at the Holiday Inn in Indian Rocks Beach. Tony was really fun. Um, he always was smiling. He had these funky glasses on and he was the perfect model for doing my paintings. So anyway, hope you are enjoying this and let's go to the next one. So let's say hello to Cindy. Cindy worked at the same restaurant, but in a different location of the restaurant. And again, it was Jimmy Guana's. And she was really a pleasant wait staff. I loved her mask. And I loved all the plants and the color that was in, in this particular area. And so um, let's go to the next one. Here's Debbie, the third wait staff at Jimmy Guana's restaurant. She was very fun. I really enjoyed her. I loved her mask, which is decorated with the American flag. She kind of reminds me of a biker lady. Cool, strong, and a lot of fun. And, and I love the uh, surfboards in the background and this integrated um, ceiling and the bright color blues. It was just a really fun piece. So I hope you like it. Hi, so this is John, and he's from PJ's in, at Indian Rocks Beach. Uh, PJ's was a really fun place. As you walk in, you see the Blues Brothers statue when you first come in, and, and, and they have all kinds of hula hoops and all kinds of fun things. So the interior of this restaurant is this bright yellowish green color, and there are all kinds of photographs and money and all kinds of Unusual, unusual photos and things. And then we have our cool waiter, John, with the spiked hair and um, a great smile and ready to work and help us. So I really liked John. He was fun and this place was very colorful. And I hope you appreciate it as much as I do. So here's Madeline. She works at Bagel City South close to where Bruce's mom, Eunice, lives, and we'd like to go there for bagels. And it was really great because they had little cafe tables sitting outside. It was a beautiful morning, and uh, she was fun. She had her all her menus and her write-up thing and her pen, and she was ready to, to do multiple things for us. And uh, Anyway, we love bagels, so it was a fun thing, and she loved posing for me when, when I asked her to. So, in fact, Bruce went to visit Florida a few months later, and I had finished the painting, and he showed it to her on his iPad, and she was thrilled. Okay, welcome to Christina. Christina was the, uh, at the restaurant at the farmer's table. It was the first place we went out to dinner in um, the Boca Raton area. 
and this restaurant was lovely. It was all fresh vegetables and foods, and, it, and the service was wonderful. She was very beautiful. In fact, when I asked to take her picture, she styled her hair the way she wanted it, because she wanted to look good in the painting. So she was a fun person, and I hope you enjoy. So here is Manushka. She was at the Ocean's 234 restaurant in Deerfield Beach and she was, we were sitting outside looking at the ocean and people swimming. It was a really lovely place to be and she was a fun waitress and when I asked if I could take her picture, she got into her Wonder Woman pose <laughs> and did a great job for me and I'm, I'm hoping that she will love the painting that I did. So if you ever get to go there, Ocean's 234. <laughs> Hi, I'd like to introduce you, but I don't know this lady's name. All I know is that she worked at Way Beyond uh, Bagels on Jog Road in Delray Beach. She was terrific, but a few uh, months later when I went to check in on her, she doesn't work there anymore. But I loved her mask, I loved her hairstyle, and all the background, and I think it's one of my favorite paintings. So I hope you do too, and I hope to be able to go down there and maybe see her someday. Let's take a look at Vinny. Vinny is different than all the other mass weight staff that I have in this collection. He's here from Chelmsford, Massachusetts at the Hong and Kong restaurant. Bruce and I, my husband, have been going to the Hong and Kong for many, many years. It's one of our favorite places and Vinny knows us quite well. Uh, the one thing I think is really unique about him is look at all the layers of protection he has. He's not only a great waiter, but he's also concerned about you and me not getting COVID. So I think that's an important thing here. The other thing is the restaurant itself has so many unique uh, ornamental um, things like the dragons, which are hand carved. And I really thought it was important to having that in the background of him representing the uniqueness of the restaurant. So anyway, I hope you like Vinny as much as I do. I think he's a great guy. You should go over to the Hong Kong and visit him in person. Tell him Donna sent you.